and okay. Okay, so I can do a few accents. I can do Donald Duck. Um, speaking like um. In certain ways, it can be done. You just have to have a lot of patience, basically. It's like when you're speaking in other accents, like German or French. Like, they sound very different, of course, but they can be done. Like, I can tell you, when I was learning Irish at first, I was, I was seven, and I was an infant. So, talk about the craziness there. But yeah, I, I, I actually um, completely did not understand the words in Irish, and I didn't get to be able to learn the Irish anthem so quickly because I was only a kid, you know. So I don't know. Maybe it just took me a while because it mostly takes people a while to learn something like that. So I went and I learned it. And when I had learned it, I ended up, um, you know, becoming an instant uh, writer in singing and in acting and in plays writing, you know. So I was just like, ooh, cool, cool. So I took that up with my hobby anyway three years ago that I wanted to write out the rest of my four plays in. And, uh, it's a story I've actually made up and the different books that I've written are given different titles even though they're all connected to one of it like I have Beauty Lies Within Knowledge is Stronger Than Weakness and what was it? Kindness is no and then I have Elliot Truth is is finally the truth is finally realized is the third one and winged madness is the fourth so I did get them all done but uh, it took me a while to do <laughs> um, but I like doing it because I love plays I love being able to write what I can write you know I'd say I say if I couldn't if I couldn't write I'd you know be at very near death door because I feel now that writing is a really good idea for me because I think if you find something that you can say yes that is so me I don't have a problem with writing or whatever like if you have a huge interest in what you can finally do you can understand me you know um, so I can I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, so I was able to do the accents in class, in all my classes, no problem. And I remember the first time my French teacher heard me speaking in French, and like she didn't know that I had. People always say it all the time. People say, if you're bilingual, like if you, if you have if you both parents that are actually from different places in the world, so if you have two accents at home you, and you hear them all the time, you'll be very, very good at being able to speak another language and you'll probably have no problem doing it. My first year in secondary school, and I was first given my first you know French book and I sat down with it and looked uh, looked through the words kind of quickly but uh, for for me learning learning something like a language for me it's not that hard because I've always been I've always had an interest in reading uh, since I was really young so I was like about eight when I started getting into reading you know, and I've actually just started that again because I stopped when I was 12 and I stopped from the age of 12 to the age of 28 which was when I actually got into the whole thing again and so I've been reading 
since I was 28, you know, and, but yeah, so, I remember <laughs> my first day when I was in, you know, secondary school and I started to speak in the Irish language and I, of course, put on an accent. The teacher, of course, is really like, you spoken French before? And I was like, no, I haven't. And she said, but how do you know that, you know, the way you're saying it sounds like you do? Like, that's very strange. And I said, well, we do have a television at home, you know, for, for example, au, au, au revoir, you know, au revoir. Um, she was amazed that me spa saying that, no problem. She was amazed that I went up a little in tone when I said au revoir. And she was like, what made you do that? And I said, well, I said, that's how I've always heard it said on the telly. Am I wrong? And she was like, no, no, you're very, very right, like, but just amazing to hear it from, you know, a child. I mean, she said, you, you've never spoken the language before. You swear you've heard, because I had actually, when we had actually read that day, we had all taken different paragraphs to read in the book like basically the teacher went around the room like you 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 she go from forward to back you know to read and when I was given my part to read it was like it was to her like geez she could have given me any part to read and I would have been fine and you know not had a problem right because I was able to say words like you know Boku you know I, w I hadn't a problem with really anything um, I I had fun with the language, you know. I always, I've always had a love of, of reading new languages. So when I read that and her her being like, I can't believe you're able to read that. That's great. And she gave me she had me read maybe another four or five times because I think in how do you say this in the nice possible way? Yeah she was trying to kind of make the influence to the class of yeah you see the way Brown is actually going about saying things she's not saying them like for example you know the way in Ireland if you want to um, you can say I'm going down the road now yeah you can do that but in France you can't because it's kind of an insult you know that's how they view it they do if you, if you say certain things in a certain way if you don't use basically your accent well like I mean I would normally say I'm going to go down the road you know that's normal so if someone that says I'm going down the road it's like jeez oh, sorry for saying you down you know it really confuses some people but not that many people these days get confused because it's you know I mean it's it's a very easy language to understand compared to other languages that got a bit of rules behind it you know it's the same with, with, with the, the same with the, the the Danish language like when you're saying goodbye you have to say well like if I said goodbye you don't understand me completely but in Den Denmark, it's like Favel. And she's where I went up at the end thing, Favel. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to say it. If you say something like, if you if, if you're like chatting away to someone, and uh, it doesn't matter really how you're speaking to them, well, I guess, I guess it sort of does, because you know it all depends on if you're gonna really want to talk to you that much. But if 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 you don't if you don't use your manners appropriately and well, if you don't if you don't say favel, it's kind of like, oh my god, why did they just why if if you say it more like favel, it's like Jesus, God forbid, I was born like I mean, what did I do? That's how they think of it. So it's all about you've got to speak in the correct manner in Denmark and um, I don't I don't see the, the problem you know myself 
a little different with the English language that you can say certain things and you don't need any intonations or anything in your language because that's the way we kind of been brought up but um certain things you might say like you're going to the pub you know you're going to the pub but most of the time you wouldn't say I'm going to the pub because that is completely boring who the hell is going to be interested in following me there nobody you know um so ours are is very secluded like the, the language is just kind of people don't really think it very very much about the language I think it's I think I think in places that do have an interest <laughs> sorry I think people that do have an interest in their language is that's great like it's a good idea to have because it makes your language more interesting a lot more wanted to be learned so there you go anyway have fun with your accents people okay all right